my man Laszlo keeps throwing stuff at me over here. Hold that thought. It's on table four. We're all in with a couple of kings versus a couple of queens. Always good to win the first one. And we burned a queen. There's one queen left in the deck. What's up, everyone? My name is Gary Blackwood, also known as Gazzabee123. Welcome to my stream. We're playing 500 Zoom today. Really excited for this one. Let's check out some hands. As we pick up a couple of Kardashians on table four. Let's put them to work. Run up four bet. My man Laszlo keeps throwing stuff at me over here. Hold that thought. It's on table four. We're all in with a couple of kings versus a couple of queens. Always good to win the first one. And we burned the queen. There's one queen left in the deck. He also, also could have hit a den on the second river. But that is a stack coming our way. Good start here. Up $500. Table two, my opponent has limped. We are always raising this hand. My opponent has limp raised. I don't know how to play these blind versus blind limp spots, but I think we call here. Pray for some middling diamonds. Those are high clubs. And we'll be folding versus his C bet. Table one, defending the big blind. Bit of a swing and a miss. We'll come over to table two. We're going to three bet the J boys. Not the Jiggities, not the Jackaroonies. They are the J-Boys. Everyone fold. Queen 7 suited. Not a 3-bet for me. I 3-bet a little bit like Queen 6, Queen 5. But Queen 7 is just going to be a call. Flop a set of Queens. Just kidding. I know it's not set. As we call the Queen 7. Raising quite a lot, but calling a little bit. Now, over betting or potting, or 75%ing, whatever you want to do, I guess. It was a pleasure getting to know you. Congrats on the recent life change. I wish you the best and good luck today. Tell Sam and I said hello as well. Bits of E sent me a message on Discord and was like, if you ever see me in the, the Zoom speech, you tell me to fuck off. And he lasted two weeks before he came back. I saw him the other night and I was like, Ed, you said, uh, let's just bet one third here in position. I tell you when we four bet bluff the ace queen, but let's stick down here where we've got the pocket queens. Gonna call and pray for a clean turn. I don't think he has any jack nine free flop. Uh, it's a bit of an interesting spot now. Do we want to just shove and commit his draws? Or do we want to just call? I think the answer is in theory we want to just call. In reality, I'm kind of scared. I don't want to see the jack of spades at the river and I want to shove. And that's okay. But just call. Oh, clean out of the whistle. And now I'm going to give it the whole, oh, what do I do with my King Jack? And then I'm going to shove. And if he's not snapping, I don't think he's ever calling. We do have a spot developing on table one, but we'll stick with table four for now. I kind of hope we win a stack here because I'm going to give up <laughs> right back over here. So this is an interesting spot. I've opened pre. This guy is called, this guy is three bet. I have four bet. Uh, and I decided to check on the flop. Uh, now I don't think we can call that position with just a gut shot. I'm just gonna have to let that go, which really sucks. Swinging about, guys. Swinging about. Hold that thought as we're calling this hold four bet with pocket eights. Let's peel it out. Three of clubs, four of clubs, nine of spades. I think we just check jam now, you know. Hold that thought because we're calling a three bet here with pocket fives. Three of diamonds, deuce of clubs, four of hearts. Playing some leads here, more leads on like. Five, six, seven, or four, five, six. I think I'm checking my fives. Probably leading them uh, sometimes, but not all the time. And like I say here, it's a bit of a big shove, is it? No, it's not that big. Yeah, I think we just go with the eights here with a club. And we get snapped by aces with a club. Yay! Miracle eight. Didn't find it. Table one. Check calling flop. I uh, don't love it, but calling again here. Uh, Nice-ish river. I'm guessing if he was bluffing, he would have continued to bluff on that river. So I'm guessing we sucked out. Yep, he had King Jack. We were ahead on the flop, though. We have a nasty spot over here on table three. My opponent has open pre, bet small on the flop, and I potted the turn. I think I call. Pray for the three of hearts one time. That was a really nasty river. We were ahead of all his flush draws. He do, does still bet a lot of like king six and king seven and 
Queen 7 and stuff like that though. But I really don't mind a call sometimes. I actually really, 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 really want a call, but I'm not going to. I think alright, versus 1.5x pot, I think we can just comfortably fold. Yeah, happy folding there. Table two, the cutoff is open pre. I have flattered on the button. My opponent is now check raised. Spade. Uh, he checks to me. Uh, I think some of my lower spade draws are going to bluff, but I think my ace high is just a tiny bit too strong. I think I like a check back. River of flush. Table one, we're going to four bet. Get a pretty interesting 5-4-3. I think I'll be mixing with my nines here. This is just a boat. It is just a boat all the time versus this player. I am laughing in his face and snap folding the nut flush. Then we'll my opponent's bet 10% pot. I guess we just call. Nines feel a little gnarly to get in here. We lose to 10s, jacks, queens, some flop straights, some two pairs. Uh, nines, really not sure what to do here. I guess we just shove for protection now. Probably the right play. This could be completely fucking horrendous, but that's a nice. That's not one of them though. I'm really not sure about those nines. It feels kind of gnarly, but it feels like there's a lot of hands that we just want to deny equity from. Guys, I'm getting smashed. I'm getting absolutely smashed. I can't get a bluff through. I can't win a hand. <laughs> uh, table two, gonna call this for the rebet. There we go. There we go. My opponent checks to me, mainly just betting, all right? My opponent check raises like he has so much um king queen and stuff like that that we want to just keep in <sighs> why is that the turn <laughs> as i saw mentioned two plus two there so i was going to say you now lost on is just two sketches to play there have you stopped playing the old guy i have yes uh hold that thought while i just get stacked again here uh yeah i've stopped playing there um but to each their own i think is the best way to describe it yeah this is wild. I can't want a hand. Uh, Till three, gonna three bet the 10 nine suits. This is how it's been for the last few weeks. It's been fucking horrendous. I'm uh, gonna bet the turn. This guy uh, is going to do a decent amount of calling on the flop, then I fold on the turn, and we have a double dutter, which is nice. Uh, Till two, we have jacks. It's my hotkeys. Uh, going to play big better check. My hand is mainly a bet. I swear to fucking God. Oh, we won twice. At table one, my opponent has three bet pre-flop. Check the flop, check the turn has now blocked the river. I guess call and beat kings one time. Yeah. Let's play these J-Boys versus Adsman. Hello, hope you're well, sir. Good luck, Gary, versus, except versus me. Uh, 7 4 3. This is the spot where we'll play a little more checks. Sports a little more connected. Again, betting our jacks a decent amount. Checking our aces the most. He checking my jacks this time, and he yeah, better believe we'll be check raising. Good luck today, guys. Oh, one more thing. Rangers won Motherwell too. Let's go. First time we won at Ibrox for 27 years. I started streaming around about uh, here. Yeah, about here. How fun is that? And table three, we have an ace and a king. We've been three bets. Start out with a call. Can we get that flop over there, please? I bet this one's got fucking a king on it. Okay. okay, some nice premiums here. My opponent checks me with the ace king. I think we want to bet sometimes, believe it or not. Start out with a bet. And table four, we definitely want to call. Not the greatest turn in the world. Checking the ace king now on the turn. Really don't love this spot here. I guess call one more. I'm really, really happy to see that river because now we save money. Yeah, it's complete savings on that river. I mean, he might have loved me, but it's kind of hard on that. Uh, checking the back on the turn. So we see that uh, small blind versus. Um, Sorry, cut off versus small one here. We're checking it back on the turn. Rivering a flush. Kind of a weird spot of your raises. Kind of hard for him to have a better flush. 
Yeah, very weird spot. I am really tempted to shove, but I don't think we get called by enough worse. It's hard for him to have a better flush here. He doesn't have any nut flushes. Maybe ace 10 of that. I don't know. Table 2 going to raise sometimes. This is actually going to be one of those times, guys. Instant service on the turn. I think you use one third on these flush completing turns. And then block the river and fucking puke in my mouth when he jams. I'm gonna guess he had uh, king queen with a queen of clubs. Ooh, it's a flush over flush situation, boys and girls. I'm streaming, but you can come in. No, they can't see. I lied, they can see. Give me a kiss! <laughs> I'm a bastardo. Okay, one last one. Right, go in it. Ciao, people. Ciao, people. That's my sister. Table one, should we raise? Absolutely, we shall. Never mind all that, because on table four. Come on. All right. Table one, I believe they call this in the business. Instant service, going half pot on the turn. Same size I would choose with hands like pocket deuces, pocket threes, seven, six of clubs, all, all the types of bluffs that check as the clock. He doesn't do that and just, oh, look at you, kiss your sister, my brother's horrible at kissing. <laughs> Guys, the incest jokes are top notch, I gotta say. Table one, three back the jacks. Getting them in if possible, we get the 953 flop. I did a little bit of work on big blind versus small blind recently. I bet your over pairs really often on the low boards. Earth shattering stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think the size here. I think half pot or two thirds. Both are fine. I'm going to go two thirds. And that's as clean a run out as you're going to get. Faded the pocket nine snap a rooney. does make the call. I think it's a very, very reasonable call by him. 2 one 3 back in the nines. I mean, can I not just flop a set like 9-3 deuce? Why does that have to be 10-8-9 flush draw? Start with a check call. Just pray for the 8 of hearts. Or the 9 of diamonds. we get the king of diamonds i think quarter pot is the play here he's got some two pairs and stuff with it and i don't think he's ever checking a straight on the turn so i think quarter pot is the play okay yeah <laughs> i was gonna say uh, yeah i think we just flipped this uh i think uh yeah nice hands he knows that i'm probably never taking this line with ace queen for this size so yeah maybe being a bit owned here but um obviously can't, can't call versus the shuffle uh, table two, we've called a three bet. We are going to call a C bet. Turn extra outs to go with our straight and flush draws. Clubs. I think we call. And get the brick of all bricks. I kind of hope he shoves himself because odds is kind of sticky versus bets. So I'm really happy to see him shove the river there and just let me get out of the way. Uh, table two. We have uh, three bet and been called four bet. We will call top pair, top kicker. I will play some check shoves here, I think. We're a little deep, mind you. Um, yeah, don't mind just shoving it. Oh, it was good to win the first one. I was going to say, how the fuck have we won twice, but we haven't. Have we? Uh, table one. Call on the three bet. Uh, table one, I really don't love it here without a heart in my hand, but I guess I can't fold Ace King just yet. Back in the turn. Nice river. He's going to bluff that river, and I have a nice hand to call with. Maybe we can play shoves. Maybe it's a bit of a mistake to just snap call there without even thinking about it. It's so, so unlikely he has a better hand there. We've been three balled. This is mainly a four bet for me, but I do call it sometimes. And my random number generator has dictated that we will call it this time. So let's peel it out together. Nine of hearts. 
King of Hearts, Nine of Diamonds. Still got call one. My bonus jacks, really happy to see him do that. I will check it back. Don't have queens. Thank you. Here, table two, we're going to three bet with the kings. And table three, we're going to over bet the turn. That would be a boat for me. Prize one third. Two very similar flops here. We're going to bet them both. Uh, very nice turn here. I would bet a lot of queen jacks and jack tens and stuff on the turn. My hand is going to want to bet sometimes, I'm pretty sure, but we are quite deep, so I am going to revert to check. I'm going to keep betting the boat, though, because I'm a slimy, greedy fucker. Let's stay full screen. We're now going to bet the ace jack. And table two, if there was ever a candidate for checking the river, this would be the one. He snap checks back. Table one, is this going to blow up in my face? He had pocket sixes, is me. I was going to have like, yes, we get called by. Oh, wait, no, we don't. My opponent had three of a kind. Check back the turn. That could have got really messy if he bet the turn there. Table three, calling sometimes, four letting sometimes. This would be a four bet. Get three. Table two, going to call. Now, my opponent is going to bet his entire range on the flop. We can make hands like ace four fold, which is why we want to sometimes raise hands like jack 10, king 10, queen jack, and so on. So I have spun the random number generator, and I'll be honest, it's landed on call. But I'm going to raise. I want to raise my ace queen, my pocket tens at some frequency, and my king jack at a very high frequency. So I'm absolutely certain that this makes it a disaster turn. Disaster turn. I think now we just check folds. Very tempting to call, but we have, as mentioned, plenty of other hands that can continue. This is just good. Table one, open and free, betting flop, betting turn. And that is a very clean river. Lovely run out up here. I bet flop, bet turn, and I'm going to pop the river and pray that I get snap called. This dude doesn't like to fold versus flop bets, but does like to fold versus my turn bets. But I still want to just bet my hand, of course. Uh, table four doesn't interest. I keep getting these like over pairs on the triple card boards. Yeah. So I've opened, the small blind is called and the big blind is called. I've bet the flop. I have bet the turn. And I will now bet the river. I'm just trying to think for what size. I really don't know. I really don't know about that spot. I'm actually terrified that he's about to shove. Because if he shoves, he's got one hand and one hand only. This guy, Gio Perez, I've been playing against him for fucking years, right? And, uh, we were playing a regular game and he a fun player bust and he sat out but he was sitting in at another table so i typed in the chat and i was like dude you can't do that you know it's you've been playing for years you should know better and he didn't say anything and then we we're playing and then i was like okay i'm gonna report you because it's really really unethical and then the fun player left and the table broke and then he shoved on me today when i had quads and i yesterday when i had quads and I took a few seconds to call. It took a long time to call. Uh, and then today we were playing heads up. We were playing a six max table and the game broke and me and him were heads up and he grimmed me. So he's clearly upset. Anyway. Yeah. Joe Perez. Be, be better. Uh, calling this three back with Queen 10 suited. Top pair is always good. I'm uh, going to get sneaky here and check back sometimes with Queen 10. Now my opponent has given me free reign to um, bet the turn and shove the river. I know that I bottle it. I pussy out and don't shove the river as a bluff here very often. <laughs> but obviously, don't have a bluff here. I've got uh, queen 10, so in it goes.
Wow. Okay. He's called. He's called me with ace high, honey. I wasn't expecting that. We'll take it then. Poker is fucking easy. If you can make good hands, then poker is fucking easy. If you have enjoyed the show, click that follow button. It costs nothing to follow us here. And also, I'd be very grateful if you could give me a sub on YouTube. Uh, table two, going to make this 25 big blinds, which is $125. Let's go 24 and a half to entice him in. I'm also going to peel it out if he calls. We haven't peeled it out in a while. Flop is seven of diamonds, nine of hearts, six of spades. Don't love it one bit. Let's start with a check. And versus half pot, just fold. Yeah, happy with that. Tail court. Right, let's wrap up. Let's sit out next. Big blind. Uh, table four, we flop bottom two pair. Let's bet quarter pot. Table four, really, really not loving life one bit. Table one, Geo says, fuck you, Gazzy. Shoves it in. Table four, really don't love life, but certainly not folding just yet. A really interesting spot. I don't think my hand is weak enough to bluff in hindsight. Because obviously he can have ace queen and we beat that. So I think I would bluff a hand like uh, ace jack or ace 10. Although ace 10 probably a better folds well. Very nice. He had pocket sixes. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't bluff the river after I checked the turn. After I checked the river turn. When will you next be live? I don't know. Give me a little follow on Insta. Yeah, updates there. But yeah, not sure when I'll next be live. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the show. If you have enjoyed the show, give me a follow. Give me a, a sub on YouTube. I feel like I've run okay today. I feel like I've played well. But I feel like to have a really nice win rate in these pools... You have to play fucking A game. It's tough to stream and play A game. Um, I feel like I played well. I haven't spewed. I haven't tilted. I've thought through all my spots. But yeah, games are tough. Make no mistake. Right, this is the graph for the day. I think I lost a little bit on stream. I started streaming around about here, I want to say. And I've been thinking about this. I do think it is a coincidence that my red line is tanked uh, whilst on stream. Obviously, I'm going to miss a bunch of spots because I'm trying to be entertaining and all that. Um. But I do feel like it's a bit of a coincidence in my red line tank because I was still looking for bluffs and looking for the right spots and trying not to overfold and autopilot and stuff like that. But yeah, that's been it. I've had a lot of fun streaming. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the show.